South Sudan has been embroiled in a war that has left thousands of people dead. The youngest state in the continent is having difficulties in realizing the real fruits of independence. Calls by Mashan for President Kerr to resign have sent jitters through the country. AU member states are concerned. We will urge all South Sudanese to put their nation first and to put the interest of ordinary men and women first. And those of the leaders, I guess, should always come last because we are given mandate by ordinary citizens to lead. Last week, the UN Secretary General called on Mashan to stop the war talk for the sake of the people and the future of Sudan, a message echoed by Uganda's President Yuri Museveni. Meanwhile, Mkwana Mashabani says the AU is focusing on operationalization of ACRIC, the African capacity for immediate response to crisis, a precursor to the AU standby force. This to silence the guns and promote peace and stability. However, she lamented the lack of development after the guns fall silent. Because ordinary men and women and ordinary people would want to see the peace dividend. They need to be contributing to not just wanting peace, but knowing that if there's peace, they will also be able to carry on with their livelihoods unhindered. The minister also welcomed the historic agreement reached on Iran's nuclear program and the lifting of sanctions on Iran. She says South Africa is looking forward to resuming economic and trade relations with Iran. Lehana Tsutetsi, SABC News, Pretoria.